Monarch butterflies and milkweed share a special bond. Monarchs rely on these plants to lay their eggs and to feed their caterpillar. For gardeners and conservationists, it's important to understand how the butterflies find the plants. A common claim is that monarchs can smell the milkweed plant from two miles away. And that's how they hone in on this plant and find it. But what does the science really say? Monarch butterflies are famous for their long migrations, traveling thousands of miles. But when it comes to finding milkweed, the real question is how far can their senses reach? Like many insects, monarchs have an olfactory system designed to pick up chemical signals. Milkweed plants release specific compounds that attract monarchs, especially females ready to lay eggs. These chemicals act like a beacon, signaling a safe spot for caterpillars to grow. However, the range of these scents is limited. Scientific studies suggest that the chemical cues from milkweed are sensed no more than a couple of hundred feet under usual outdoor conditions. Factors like wind, humidity, and temperature affect how far these scents carry. A study releasing monarchs near milkweed found their perceptual range using both smell and sight may be as high as 400 feet or 125 meters, but the majority were less than 165 feet or 50 meters. Two miles or 10,000 feet is far beyond what's practical for monarchs to detect milkweed by smell alone. What about visual and other sensory navigation techniques? Monarch butterflies use a combination of senses to find their way. They rely heavily on visual landmarks, such as trees, rivers, and open spaces. Butterflies also use the sun's position as a compass to navigate during migration. So while monarchs may not smell milkweed from miles away, they use visual clues to zero in on areas where milkweed grows. Once close, the scent and leaf texture help confirm it's the right plant. Once they land on a milkweed plant, they use their forelegs, midlegs, and antennae to assess plant suitability. Interestingly, they use a different technique to evaluate each species. Asclepias incarnata was most preferred, while Asclepias tuberosa was least preferred. However, the use of appendages varied for the different host species. Antennae were most frequently used during post-alightment behavior on A. curasavica whereas forelegs were used more often on A. incarnata, and all three appendages were used extensively on A. tuberosa. Use of the midlegs was generally followed by use of the antennae. Tasting with either forelegs or antennae apparently may lead to egg laying on some host species. How can gardeners use milkweed to attract monarch butterflies? If you're hoping to attract monarchs to your garden, counting on them smelling milkweed from miles away isn't realistic. Instead, making milkweed visible and accessible in your local area is the best approach. The following are the best practices for planting milkweed to support monarchs. Choose native milkweed species. Native plants are best suited to your local climate and support the full life cycle of monarchs. Milkweed for monarchs provides helpful tips on selecting species. Plant milkweed in sunny spots. Monarch eggs and caterpillars thrive on plants basking in sunlight. Create clusters or patches. Planting several milkweed plants close together helps monarchs find them more easily than scattered single plants. Add nectar plants. Along with milkweed for laying eggs, monarchs need flowers rich in nectar for energy. By following these steps, you increase your chances of seeing monarch butterflies flutter into your garden. The key is to get milkweed plants within flight distance, as monarchs rely more on visual and short-range scent cues. Monarch caterpillars rely exclusively on milkweed as a food source. Without milkweeds, monarchs wouldn't exist. 
chemicals inside the plants even make the monarch toxic so that their predators leave them alone. This special relationship encourages environmentalists and gardeners to plant more milkweed to increase the population. Protecting and planting native milkweed supports this entire journey from egg to caterpillar to stunning adult butterfly. You can learn more about the crucial monarch milkweed relationship through resources such as those provided by the National Park Service's Milkweed and Monarchs. We encourage everyone to create their own monarch friendly habitat. Thank you very much for your support. If you'd like to connect directly with me, the best way is through my Facebook group, Garden Fundamental. We'll answer all of your questions there. I also have a blog called Garden Myths, where I've debunked over 2,000 different myths. I'll put links to all of these in the description below. Happy garden.